This video will introduce datum targets. This symbol is used in place of a datum feature symbol to establish a datum reference frame. It's used on parts that have a lot of variation on them, plastic parts, sheet metal, castings, things that you can't get a repeatable datum by making contact with the entire surface. So a datum target is a circle cut in half. The lower half of the target is where you put the datum letter and the target number. So this would be A1 target. And if the target has size, then you put the shape and the size of the target in the upper part of it. So that would be the A plane target number one, and then we have an A plane target number two, A plane target number three. So those three points will establish that perfect plane on the high points. All right, so we got three for A, we need two for B. So here is our B1. It's shown as an X in this view, and notice how B1 is shown as a line in this view. So that would be a line contact making contact with the edge of a pin. And we have two of those, so B1 and B2 here. So that creates a perpendicular plane. All right, so we got three for A, two for B, and then one for C. So C, shown as an X in this view, and it's shown as an X in this view. So what type of target would that be? A point. Yep, that'd be a point target. So we've done combinations here of pads, lines, and points. You could do all pads. You can do a combination of these as well. And what these represent is a fixture. So when you take this imperfect casting or plastic part, how do you constrain its six degrees of freedom? Well, we set up with targets. Here are three points for A, two lines for B, and one for C. So now the part is going to index itself on that three, two, one fixture. Our datum reference frame gets created from those datum targets. For this explanation, I did combination of pads, lines, and points. Pads are usually used on heavier parts. So you have a big heavy part, we like to use pads rather than points. Because points will wear down quickly if you have a heavy casting that sits on there. But if you have a smaller plastic part like my mouse, maybe just a little point contact would be the best. A coordinate measure machine usually uses point contact because the CMM can touch that single point a lot more repeatably. Line contacts happen more on curved geometry. So when you have curved geometry, we try to do a line contact because if you do a point, you might fall off that tangent point and get a different Z direction up and down. So line contacts are more common on curved geometry. So the next few videos will show how we're going to use these datum targets on more irregular geometries. Mm -hmm.